On May 4, 2010, Radford residents voted in a new mayor to their city. Uh, there's a sense of relief that um, an exhaustive and exhilarating campaign has come to closure. It was a, a campaign where every time you turned the corner, there was another set of questions to respond to, another forum to attend. It was reflective of the keen interest I think there was in this election at Radford. So it's just a little bit of relief that that chapter's done and another chapter's opening up. Um, I'm also very appreciative of, first of all, the number of people that were courageous enough to put themselves out there for consideration during this election, I think it created an, an energy and a buzz that, that resulted in, in, a, in a strong turnout. I'm appreciative of the folks that, um, you know, helped me and supported me, in particular, you know, the, the Rafford Education Association. Um, you know, Carrie, my wife, was just a, a real soldier of kind of the nuts and bolts behind the scene type of thing. I'm appreciative of that. And then appreciative of the number of people that cared enough to get out and vote. It, it, uh, and for uh, having run a couple times before and seen turnout that isn't quite that so huge, it, it's kind of nice to know that we are important and that people appreciate what we do. And, and that was expressed to all of us as, as they ran the gauntlet of 14 candidates handed them candy and lifesavers and, and paper. And I guess the, the third thing that I, I framed it was, was respect. I, I respect the process. I respect the fact that citizens had a choice and, and made a choice. And um, I respect Tom Starnes. I did not run against him. I ran to provide a choice. Tom has been a great friend and a great mentor, and I learned a lot about this job from watching and observing him. And a lot of what he has done will continue, and the footprints that he's left will be maintained. Mayor-elect Bruce Brown will be the city's first new mayor in 32 years. For the NRV Hub, Jenna Nichols, Radford.